Hey everyone, welcome to January Favorites. It's kind of exciting, the first favorites of 2014. I have so many things that I actually want to tell you, but I'm kind of keeping them to myself because I've been doing a lot of testing lately for products for my new series that's coming up this month called Back to Basics, Makeup for Grown Ass Women. I've decided to go with that for the title. It's catchy, I think it's funny, and it kind of fits my personality if you know me by now. So I don't want to reveal too much of, about the products that I've been working with because I want to leave something for you to actually watch when I make these videos, but a couple of things have come out and then just some usual favorite things that appear during the month. So lots to talk about. Let's just get started. I'm going to start with the non-beauty stuff first and flip things around. So the first thing I wanted to talk about is not specifically this vest, but I have been, I have two vests, two furry vests. I have this one, and then I have another one that's kind of puffier and black and white. Uh, this one, I both of them were bought at a store called Cavenders. You can get furry vests just about anywhere. I've even seen them recently at Target. This I love wearing it layered over even just a shirt like this. See, it would look cute with that. Just adds a little extra something to an outfit, and I enjoy wearing them under a jacket, and the furry part peeks out like a really expensive scarf. And I just love wearing my furry vest because I only get about one or two months out of the year when I can wear them. Other non-fashion stuff, actually nothing at all related to beauty, some dog favorites. I don't know if uh, you have dogs, you might find this interesting. If you don't have dogs, you may find this horrifying. But my dog's new favorite thing to chew on, which we recently discovered at the pet store, are these, um, I think they're water buffalo horns. I would like to think that these were harvested naturally, that they just fell off the water buffalo. I really don't want to think about how these are obtained. They come in different sizes. Here's a smaller one. This one's Bosley's. They love chewing it. They're disgusting. They don't smell at all. They're not like rawhide where they stink and they get your dog all dirty and they get like the rawhide dried crusty stuff around their face. I really enjoy these. The only drawback is they're really loud, so if you have dogs that like to chew at night, I would say put these away. But all three, the Westies and the big boy Bosley, this was Bosley's birthday present, um, they love them. And I got mine at PetSmart, and if I can find some other places online to order them, I will link that below. And then, I don't know if any of you know this about me, but I love office supplies, paper products, pens, just obsessed. And one of my favorite places to wander around is Staples. I think they have the best selection as far as office supplies go. And they're having a sale on these. These are only a dollar, these pads. And um, I picked up uh, this particular pattern, but they come in different patterns. It's a smaller size pad. And I just love that it, it here, if you can see, project, name, date. You can doodle over here. You can make your list over here. Um, just a little different than your everyday notepad, so love that. And they're only a dollar right now. And then the other thing that I love that I picked up from there Actually, there's two more things. This is my my original one. I picked up another one. These are the um, Martha Stewart Home Office Spirals. They are more expensive than your everyday spiral. I think they're like 6 or $7. They have a very um, thick plastic translate. They come in different patterns. And then when you first open it up, um, they have, there's a double-sided folder so you can tuck stuff in in the front. So there's my little folder area. And then what I like, I use this for all kinds of notes. I keep this by um, my desk. Is I just like that you can jot down the date and a title, like a topic of what you're doodling or writing about over here and keep everything in one spot. I don't have this particularly for one subject. I have grocery lists, I have video ideas, I have notes for various um, projects I'm undertaking, personal projects. Um, Okay, bar mitzvah notes for my son's upcoming bar mitzvah, math problems that I was working on with my son, <laughs> um, descriptions of things I've mentioned in videos, all kinds of stuff. I like having it in a spiral because then it's not loose paper and I'm not looking through piles of stuff. I know that everything that I've been, that goes through my mind is in here. And I just picked up another one of these. The last thing that I picked up from Staples seems so innocuous, this little blue book, but it is um, a password journal. I am probably not the only one here who has a million passwords for eight million different sites. I have two different YouTube accounts, all kinds of emails. You have to change them all the time. I'm always forgetting them. I know it's not the safest thing to have them all written in one place where someone could steal it, but I'm my 
philosophy is if someone has already broken into my house to get this, I have bigger problems. So, um, like I wouldn't keep my banking information in here, but it just has it broken down by letter. And then, so the website was like, hope look, you know, put it under H and put the web address and all, you can read it. It has all that stuff in there. And then I would recommend, of course, um, filling in everything except the actual password in pen. And then you can, as you change your password, you can go back and erase it if it's written in pencil. So that is handy. So those are all my non-beauty items. So let's get into the fun part, shall we? I found this at Walmart. It's the Olay Ultra Moisture In Shower Body Lotion. It's got this nice little hook, I guess, if you wanted to hang it on your shower caddy, if you have one. And it's the same exact concept. After you've washed yourself with soap, you follow up with this. It's a lotion that you can use. You know, it looks like lotion. It has a faint, just clean scent. It's not scented like almond or vanilla or anything. And, um, it has shea butter in here and the reason why and you know you just put all over your body and then rinse it off and you're all smooth and today I did not even follow up with moisturizer when I got out of the shower which I probably should have but the reason that I like this especially in the winter is because there are times even in my warm climate that I dread getting out of the shower because I know it's gonna be freezing and the last thing I want to do is then stand there freezing and slather on moisturizer so while I'm nice and cozy warm in the shower, I can use this. I have not used this in a long, long time. I broke it back out this month. It's my Clarisonic. Um, I think this is the Mia. It's not all that fancy. I need a new head. Um, but for reasons unknown, I found I was getting all these little bumps under my skin. And then of course I started picking at it, which makes things worse. And oh, it is the Mia. And then I decided I was exfoliating with my chemical exfoliants. Nothing was working. I just got this bad boy out. I use it maybe twice a week in the evening after I take off my makeup and wash and use it to wash my face. And I have noticed my skin is clearing up a lot. It's the Glam Glow Youth Mud Tingle Exfoliate Treatment. Looks like this cute pink packaging. It was for breast cancer awareness. And if you're unfamiliar with what it looks like, it has this little seal, which you must keep or your product will dry up. And I don't have a whole lot left, but it looks like that. Here's what I like about it. I have been using it in two ways. One, all over my face as a full mud mask, and two, to reduce strategic areas of pimples on my face. There's one that I've been working on uh, that's there right now. See if you can spot it. And um, anyway, I find that I, I have dry skin. I find that this product dries up my um, blemishes without drying up my skin. And yes, it is pricey, but um, Sometimes you get what you pay for and this stuff works and there's always sales and various places that you can pick this up. So they just came out, this company just came out with a hydrating mask that I am very curious to try and I will probably be heading out to either Nordstrom or Sephora to pick up the um, moisture version. I will say this was sent to me, so this I did not pay for, but I'm about to go pay for another one. And then the final um, skincare thing that I have used quite a bit and I've mentioned before, but I think it deserves another mention, is the Murad Rapid Age Spot and Pigment Lightening Serum. A lot of you have mentioned that you think my skin looks great. I think that's a combination of the camera is very kind to me and good concealer, but um, honestly, I have seen a difference in my skin and the only thing that I've added to the routine in the last few months is this stuff. So. I love it. I don't follow the directions. I use it in the morning because I sometimes use other things in the evening and I don't want them to conflict. So I wash my face. Um, I put one pump of this all over my face, not my eyes. And then I follow up with my Michael Todd anti-aging new cream and then moisturizer. And um, it does really fade acne scarring, red spots left over from old acne, brown spots, etc. So I really like that. Okay, on to the makeup. So, um, not a lot of makeup stuff, but a few things. And I'm gonna start out with the, it's not a fail, it's just an underwhelming product, because it's new and I want you all to avoid it if you want to not spend your money. Okay, this breaks my heart. This is the new Wet n Wild Color Icon Palette in The Naked Truth. And here is The Naked Truth about The Naked Truth. It's not all that great. Um, Sometimes it's great when companies come out with new things, and sometimes you just think, why didn't you stick with what was working? The original color icon palettes, the six palettes, three and three shadows, were so good. Or the trios were, like, and even the original eight pan 
all the old formulation, whatever it was that they were doing with it, it was fabulous. We all started loving Wet n Wild again. It has now received a cult following. And then what do they do? They take away all the stuff that works and come out with stuff like this. It's what I have on my eyes right now. As you can see, the colors in the palette look distinctly different, don't they? Like you wouldn't think that this color and this color would blend and be the same color, but they kind of do. And I was my usual heavy handed self and really packed on. Very, I mean, I never use these dark colors. I'm always afraid to use these. I have it in the outer corner. You can barely tell. I'm just so unimpressed with this. I know it's only like two or three dollars, but that's not the point. The point is that Wet n Wild for so long has given us such great products. That's what I'm expecting when I open a package like this and that's not what I got. So just picked this up in CVS a couple days ago. So I was so looking forward to it. I love this, these colors. I thought this would be a great neutral palette. It's just not all there. It's not all that. It's just very wet and wild. You make me sad. Um, a drugstore product that I love and I've been wearing a lot of. And um, if you live in San Antonio, it is on sale for I think a dollar or two dollars off at HEB. And um, ah, are the Neutrogena Moisture Smooth Color Stick. I've been reaching for this all month. And um, this is in Soft Raspberry. It has a nice, um, pleasant scent. It's easy to use. It's idiot proof. And it has, um, I don't know what else. I don't really have a lot more to say other than this is a great go-to color. It's very flattering on everybody. And um, I love it. And I will be purchasing probably every single color they make. I really like these. I'm wearing this over another blush today. This is the Essence Silky Touch blush in Sweetheart. And I love this blush so much that when I went back to the drugstore to get more Essence blushes, I accidentally ended up buying the same color two more times. So I have three of these. Um, it doesn't look like much on my finger. It's very soft. It's great, I would say, um, sort of just to give a natural flush to the skin. I used it because I used a different blush that was a little brighter than I wanted and I put this over it to tone it down a bit. It's very versatile. I think it would actually even make a great eyeshadow, frankly. So, loving that. And then the last product from the, I'm looking around at my stuff here. Last beauty product is this L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder. This is in the shade W1. I could probably do a W2, but what I like about this, the cover, it's very incredibly soft. Like I just like touching it. It reminds me very much of the MAC MSF Natural Finish. It's just a very soft powder. But what I like it for to keep in my purse is that it actually ha comes with a little puff and a mirror. Oops, sorry about that. Which um, I love my Rimmel Stay Matte, but it doesn't. It's not very user friendly for carrying around in your purse. And this is. So I really like this. And it didn't leave my dry skin looking chalky and nasty. And then the last thing I want to talk about is this on my neck. I have mentioned Bobble Bar before. And um, it's a recent discovery for me and it is a horrible addiction and I'm just urging all of you, if you're not already on their website, go to bobblebar.com, sign up to get their emails every Friday and Monday. But every Friday they send you a hidden bobble to go look for, which isn't that hard. You just click on it and whatever's on the page that's $10 is the hidden okay. bobble. This was $10. I don't know if you can see it. It's dangling. I. It, they actually had two different necklaces to choose from and I couldn't make up my mind so since they were only $10 and it's free shipping and no tax, I got them both. Um, I got this one in silver. This is the Evil Eye in gold and I chose the blue eyeball. I think it's blue. I can't even remember. Yep. And then <laughs> I also got the Hamsa which is a little hand and I picked the gem to be blue as well. You can pick different colors and stuff. Do you see how it has the different like um, larger hook area? closures, I don't know, circles. <laughs> can you see that there's one here and one here and then of course one at the end. So you can decide how long you want it to lay on. You can make it, you know, lay much lower or higher up for layering. I just think this is such a great little detail for a $10 piece of jewelry. Those are all my favorites for January. Like I mentioned, there's a lot coming up in February, so please um, stay tuned. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed so you don't miss any of my videos. Uh, for the latest updates, I highly recommend following me on Twitter or finding me on Facebook. And um, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.